I'm in the accessibility menu of your settings app under general so that we can go over um, something that I think that any primary uh, classroom teacher will find really helpful. I'm scrolling all the way down to the bottom of the accessibility menu. Again, you can find this if I go back to general. You'll see this is what your menu looks like when you open up settings. You're going to look, make sure you're in general, not any other kind of um, menu over here on the left hand side, and then find accessibility and that will bring you to the accessibility menu. Once we're here, we're going to scroll all the way down. Under learning, you'll see guided access. I'm going to click and turn that on. What this feature will do for us is um, what's a common concern for primary grades teachers. When you are putting your students on an iPad, you generally bring up, maybe you have a folder full of um, math activities, uh, literacy based activities that you want them to work on during a certain time, but what's to keep them from working on something that maybe isn't academically rigorous or isn't something that you want them working on during this particular um, block of time. So guided access is going to help us control what our students have access to on the iPad. So under guided access, once I've turned it on, I'm going to go ahead and look for passcode settings click that and set my guided access passcode. I will warn you, you do need to remember this. If for any reason you forget and you can't get in there, um, you are going to need to uh, reset it. I'm Depending on your device, you may need to enter a six digit passcode like I'm having to do right now. Just for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to use one, two, three, four, five, six and confirm that passcode by re-entering it. Once I've done that, I'm going to back out using this up here. You can always back out to the menu you were in before. And now I'm ready to use guided access. Using the home button, I'm going to close my settings application. And I'm going to go ahead and open Toto Math, which is one of my favorite math applications. I think it's funny that they uh, pronounce it that way. So I'm going to go and get started working. Now, if this is an app that I've chosen for my students to work on for the next 20 minutes or so, what I'll do in order to restrain, restrict access to just this application is I'm going to use the home button again, just the same one that those kids are going to want to use to click and get out of there once they've worked on it for a whole two and a half minutes and want to go do something else. Um, I am going to use a special gesture. That's the triple click. So one, two, three, and I'm going to get my guided access options now. So up here, I would touch to start. I want to show you something first. Down here, you see that touch is green. You can touch, the iPad screen will respond. Over here in hardware buttons, I'm going to go ahead and make all of that. They can, they can click that sleep wake button to um, darken the screen. They can control the volume. Everything is usable. The only thing that I want guided access to really disable is this home button over here. That's what I want. Um, to not work. So if kids are trying to get out of this app and go do something else, I don't want that to be an option. So I'm going to go up here and touch start on the screen. All right, guided access started. So I'm going to get to work, work on a counting activity. Count my, I think these are one of those. I love this software because you can either drag down your answer to three, or it has some nice um, handwriting recognition. Let's say I choose the wrong thing. I get a little feedback and have to try again. So let's say I'm done working on this. I'd like to get out of here. I'm going to use that home button. And sure enough, I get this, oop, I get that message. Guided access is enabled. Triple click to home, oop, the home button to exit. 
All right. So now that I've, let's see, that I can put in my code, provided I know it, right? The students will not know your code. And now I have the option to either resume my guided access session or end. Once you end, that means you can go ahead and close out, choose another activity. What I like to do, because it is um, kind of a lot to ask for students to stay engaged on one particular activity for you know 25 however many minutes you're having them work on uh, work on it maybe open three different math related apps and let them trade switch do what they have to do as long as they're staying in those applications